coming to question number 48. Rupees 10,000 has to be divided among Amar, Akbar and Anthony. Rupees 10,000 has to be divided among Amar, Akbar and Anthony. These are the names of the three people or the three uh, money holders who, uh, from into whom you have to divide the money. In such a way that if rupees 200, 300 and 500 are deducted from their respective shares, In such a way that if rupees 200, rupees 300 and 500 is deducted from the shares, their money will be in the ratio of 3 is to 5 and 7. question the people are Amar, Akbar and Antony and the money deducted is 200, 300, 500. Find Akbar's share in rupees 10,000. This is the question. The options given are 3,000 2,800, 3,300 and the last option is 3,500. I will calculate the sum for you all. See, I have write, written down the calculation for you all. Total is rupees 10,000. Now, the total deduction is rupees 200, 300 and 500. So, the total deduction is 200 plus 300 plus 500 which is 1,000. So the money left after deduction is 10,000 minus 1,000 which is 9,000. Total left is 9,000 rupees. Now Akbar share. See Akbar share is 5 from you. Right. So 5 by the total that is 3 plus 5 plus 7. That is uh, 5 by 15 into 9,000. Okay because 9,000 rupees is left. So 5 by 15 into 9,000. Now this will give us the amount of rupees. 3000. So, 3000 option A is the correct answer. Okay, option A. Moving on to the next question, 49. Three containers have capacities in the ratio of is to 3 is to 5. 2 is to 3 is to 5. Container A has milk mixed with water in the ratio 2 is to 3. Now the container A has milk mixed with water in the ratio of 2 is to 3. Okay. 
and there were three containers. So the, we were talking about the first container. Now container B, 1 is to 2. One is to two. So first container is in the ratio of two is to three. Second container B will be in one is to two. And container C three is to two. Okay. Container C uh, milk is to water is three is to two. Okay. So this is my question. Now when all the milk and water from three containers are mixed together. The question is, when all the milk and water from the three containers are mixed together, the final ratio of milk and water will be 1. First option, 5 by 8. Second option, 7 by 9. Third option, 1 by 3. And the fourth option, 12 by 13. Now solving the sum. See, I have done some calculation for you all. Given is A is to B is to C. That is in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 5. Now, A is milk is to water, which is 2 is to 3. B was told 1 is to 2. C was told 3 is to 2. I have written down. Now, calculating the ratio of milk. Milk is to water, that is 2 by 5, which is the total, into 2. For B, 1 by 3 plus uh, into 3. For C, it will be 3 by 5 into 5. So, adding that, we get 4 by 5 plus 1 plus 3, which gives you 24 by 5. Now, coming to the ratio of water, 3 by the total, that is 5, into 2, plus 2, divided by 3, into 3. And next is uh, 2, divided by the total, that is 5, into 5. So, after calculation, we get 6 by 5 plus 2 plus 2, which gives us 26 by 15. Now, calculating the ratio. The ratio, therefore, is 24 by 5 is to 26 by 5. Cancelling this, we get 12 is to 30. So, the correct option is D, that is 12 is to 30. Correct option. Okay. Now moving on to the next question, question number 15. A contractor engages A contractor engages 100% to complete a work. A contractor engages 100 persons or people to complete a work. They finish two-thirds of the work in eight weeks. So they finish two-thirds of the work in eight, eight weeks. 
so one third of the work is left which we can uh, um, understand from the given question okay so how many people that was 100 people now at this stage 50 person left the work Fifty persons left the work. Okay, so the number of people is reduced from hundred to fifty. Okay, now comes the question. Okay, the question will be asked that how much time will be required for the rest work to be completed. Okay, now framing the question the, that is given in the paper, how much more time the contractor will take. How much more time the contractor or the construction person will take to finish the work with remaining 50%? Okay, now this is the question. Four options. Let me read out the question again. A contractor engages 100% to complete a work. They finish two-third of the work in eight weeks. At this stage, 50% left the work. How much more time the contractor will take to finish the work with 50%? So the first option is eight weeks. Next option, 10 weeks. Third option is 12 weeks. And the fourth option is 14 weeks. Okay. Now I will solve the question. Solving the answer. See. 100 people finishes two third of the work in eight weeks. So how much work is left? Work left is 1 by 3 that they are supposed to finish in 4 weeks to be finished in 4 weeks now 50 people are already leaving right so now 50 people left so how many people are there 50 people are there so 50 people will finish one third work Right? So, 50 people are left and the work left is 1 third. So, the calculation is 100 by 50 into 4. Okay. So, 100 by 50 into 4. This will give you 8 weeks. So, the correct option is option A, 8 weeks. Okay. Moving on to the next question, number 51. Donald can do a work in 8 days and Mike can do in 12 days. Donald can do a work in 8 days and Mike can do a work in 12 days. How many days approximately will it take to finish the work? is the question how many days will it take approximately to finish the work 
Now here we are provided with four options A, B, C and D. If they, uh, I forgot to write one thing, if they work on alternate days. So they are not working regularly or they are not working each and every day. They are working on alternate days. The first option is 8 days, second 10 days, third is 12 days and the fourth option is 7 days. First option 8 days, second 10 days, third is 12 days and the fourth option is 7 days. Now solving the answer. I have done this calculation. You see SM of 8, 12, 13 and 24. Now 24 units uh, on days, okay, if we consider that 21, uh, 24 units in each day, then Donald can do it in 12 days, Mike can do it in 24 by 12 days, that is 2 weeks. Now D plus M, which is Donald plus Mike, if they uh, do in 2 days, that is 3 plus 2, that is 5, since alternate. Then again 8 days, for 8 days unitary method, what it will be? So 5 into 4, which is 20, 20 days. Then A will do for 3 units, that is 20 plus 3, 23 units. Then the last left 1 unit will obviously have to be done by B. So B will do it in 10 days total. Okay, the correct option is B, 10 number of days.